who fought in the Alamo and was born in Greene County? Now, if you're from Tennessee, you should know this answer. But if naming the Alamo doesn't give you enough of a clue, listen to the lyrics in the song of this next story. So the ballad goes, born on a mountaintop in Tennessee, green estate in the land of the free, raised in the woods so he knew every tree, killed him a bear when he was only three. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. The man was David Crockett, born in Greene County on August 17, 1786. Contrary to popular belief, he did not kill a bear when he was only three. However, he did gain notoriety within his lifetime. He was a pioneer, patriot, soldier, trapper, explorer, state legislator, congressman, and was martyred at the Alamo. So his gravesite monument reads. But let's not jump too far ahead. Let's take a look at his life from the beginning. The Crockett family migrated to East Tennessee while it was still part of North Carolina. We are at uh, Davy Crockett Birthplace State Park in Limestone, Tennessee. He was born here and lived here till he was about six or seven years old before his parents moved on to uh, Morristown where they opened the Crockett Tavern. In front of the cabin we have the Nolichucky River and in the Cherokee language that means the river of death. We have a, a little waterfall on down the river here and that is where one of Davy Crockett's brothers almost drowned. The family moved several times, including to Cove Creek and to Jefferson County, and eventually moved to Knoxville when David was eight. Hired to drive cattle to Front Royal, Virginia when he was 12, he left his family to take the work. He then worked for farmers, Wagners, and a hat maker before taking a job driving cattle to Baltimore, where he lived till he was 15. He probably had family there even though it can't be documented. When he returned home to Tennessee, he discovered his father was in debt to Daniel Kennedy, so he made a deal with his father's creditor to work off the debt for one year. David Crockett practiced shooting with his employer's rifle and became an excellent marksman. He started participating in local shooting contests and often won prizes, which at the time was a quarter of beef. You heard it right, a quarter of beef. In 1806, David married Mary Polly Finley. They moved to Lincoln County in the Duck and Elk River area near the head of Mulberry Fork. They lived there during the years of 1809 to 1810 and had two sons. In 1811, the Crockett family moved near Lynchburg where they built a log home. When bear and other game became scarce for hunting, they moved to Franklin County and built a home on Beans Creek, which they called Kentuck. David Crockett fought under General Andrew Jackson in the Creek War between 1811 and 1813. His popularity first came from his reputation as a fighter and a frontiersman. He was charismatic and was a natural storyteller who enthralled his audiences. He served two terms in the Tennessee legislature and three terms in Congress. The autobiography, A Narrative of the Life of David Crockett, edited by Thomas Chilton, is probably the actual work of Crockett. His reputation for being a great bear hunter was emphasized. Other writings were actually penned by ghost writers, which were then approved by Crockett. His role in the narrative actually furthered the myth that allowed Crockett to become a legend of the Old West. A lot of people are believe that Crockett wore a coonskin cap all of his life, when in fact, he did not wear a coonskin cap until he started on his trek from Tennessee to Texas. And it was given to him by supporters of his political opponents to pretty much lampoon and ridicule him. But being the major powerful character that he was, you know, he took the ridicule and stride, put the hat on, and with his followers left for Texas. Crockett's involvement in the Alamo came when he set off for Texas to explore new opportunities. Initially, he had no intention of joining the fight for Texas independence. When he reached San Antonio, his plans changed. He saw all the possibilities it presented to him, including government service and a source for affluence, with all the new territory to settle. 
Crockett joined the Battle of the Alamo with Colonel William B. Travis, even though Sam Houston had given orders to withdraw from the Alamo. He saw the future of an independent Texas as his future. Reports told that Crockett died after he and six others were captured and then executed when the Mexican troops took the Alamo around 6 o'clock the morning of March 6th, 1836. David Crockett, the historic figure who became known as Davy Crockett, the legend, lived and died with much notoriety and a bigger-than-life reputation for his heroic feats. Davies Memorial is located in Upper Greene County. Now the model that he adopted while he was still alive was be always sure you're right, then go ahead. For more information, visit our website at TennesseeTreasures.net. You can get all the fascinating stories of Tennessee treasures in a magazine. With colorful pages and unique photos, you'll experience the treasures of the state in print. Packed with trivia and extra information, you'll discover the little known facts about Tennessee's history, arts, entertainment, sports, general trivia, and geography. Order your subscription by visiting TennesseeTreasures.net. Just $18 plus shipping and handling.